All right, guys, I've been asked a couple of times to make a video about lipos, and I'm not the most technically minded guy when it comes to this sort of stuff, but I'll give it my best shot anyway. I mean, you'll probably find better videos out there, but here's my take of it. All right, let's get started. So, normally, big number across the lipo. Let's come off on this one. That's the milliamp hour, and that's how much juice goes into the actual battery. It's got nothing to do with really how fast it goes, or any of that lot, it's just purely how big your LiPo is. So you can kind of compare that to, like, say, like on a nitro car on the fuel tank. You can compare that to like the size of the tank. All right, next number, we normally have a C rating. This one's a 45C. This one here, 25C. This one, I haven't got a clue what it is because the stickers come off. But the C rating, you can kind of take that as the size of your fuel tubes on a nitro tank. So that's the best way to look at it. But it's not always equal. So you've got a 50C LiPo battery, which is a 2000 milliamp hour, and you've got a 25C battery with a 4000 milliamp hour. They both have the same size fuel tube, if that makes sense. Because a C is like a times whatever this is here. So basically 50C means that that can discharge itself at 50 times this per hour. And this one at 25 times that per hour. So 50 times that is the same as 25 times that. Hope that makes sense, guys. All right, next number on the LiPo, you normally have the volts or the S. So obviously, the higher the S, the higher the volts, because that just means it's got four cells inside there. And each volt, 3.7 volts, so you times that by four, end up with this. Next, we have hard case versus soft case. Normally on cars, you want to run hard case unless you've got a really well padded out battery area, like on the X-Max, um, then you can get away running soft case, even though it's not really recommended. But these here, look guys, they're over a year old. These have been in my X-Max, had some proper abuse. Yeah, they're not, they're not too bad. All right, I fit these connectors to all my batteries, XT90s, because they take the voltage well, the amps, whatever you want to call it, and they're really easy to solder on. Safety wise, nah, they're not safe guys. A lot of people recommend you charge them in these. I'm not really a fan of charging them in here because you can't see what's happening. When your battery starts expanding while it's charging and it's in here, you're not going to see and it can wipe all your batteries out. So you could put a different battery in each different sack and charge it that way or just charge it somewhere away from anywhere flammable, which is probably your best bet. Don't charge them in your house, guys. Probably the biggest killer of LiPo's, guys, is leaving them fully charged. It really doesn't do them any good. So if you charge them, use them straight away. And worst case scenario, maybe next day, day after that, at a push. But anything more than that, guys, you know, or even ideally, just charge it right before you're about to use it. And if you don't end up using it, then just stick it on your charger, put it on storage mode, and then you're good to go. If a LiPo starts puffing, guys, which this one has slightly, it's not worth messing about. Just chuck it out and get yourself a new one. All right, so how do you know what amperage to charge your LiPo is at? This battery here is a 3,200 milliamp. So if you're not sure what the charge C is, which is different to the discharge C, which is what's normally printed on the front, you're gonna to have to have a look in your instructions or your leaflet or in the back of the LiPo, it would normally say charge at no more than whatever C. And if it says one C, or if you're not sure what it is, assume it's one C. So basically what that means, if it is one C, 3,200 milliamp power, you can charge that at 3.2 amps safely. Well, as safe as LiPos go. But a lot of the time, or most of the time, they've got a higher C rating on charge. So saying it was a 2C, two, two then you can charge at two times capacity, which would be 6.4 amp maximum. But this charger only goes to six, so that's what I charge these batteries at. This battery, for example, if you had a 1C charge rating, you can charge it at 6.7 amp. If you had a 2C, you can charge it at a, whatever that is, times two. You always want to balance charge your lipos, guys. If you just charge them normally, you could end up with your cells going out of sync and all end up with different voltages. And then if you overcharge one cell past what its maximum 4.2 volt is, you can cause a fire, guys. So it's not worth it. Always charge on balance. All right, there you have it, guys. That's all I know about lipos, which ain't much. Told you. But I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button to stay notified, and see you soon.